You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. stairs wake use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off give me the gun yeah <laughs> no can do wake are you kidding give me the gun no time for back talk pull them off damn it You feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake.
Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> <laughs> because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. warn me about these traps. I wouldn't want to get caught in one of them. Those teeth look nasty.
The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. <laughs> 